Hey, how's it going everyone? RATDE here. And RGB lighting has gained a lot of publicity these days. Um, you have RGB lighting in many different types of PC uh, components and stuff like that, such as your peripherals, and as well as RGB lighting kits that you can put on the inside of your chassis and stuff like that to create illuminations and also around the desk. So I'm going to take a look at a couple of different things. This is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to have the first video is going to be about some of the kits that you can put in your PC and light it up and stuff like that. And the second part is going to be about RGB lighting in peripherals. I'm going to be talking about some, some of the Corsair peripherals that I have that have RGB lighting in them. And I'm going to be talking about some of the options that I have for RGB lighting in your computer. So the first option here is the Hue plus advanced pc illumination kit this is the brand new one that just came out it is sixty dollars and i will have a link for all of these products in the video descriptions so this is the first one it's going to be talking about pc lighting kits for the inside of your chassis this here is the hue led rgb controller this is a five and a quarter inch mounted bay device that allows you to have different knobs on them to adjust the red green and the blue led aspects of the strips and it is a more of an analog as this one works more by software. So I'll be jumping into each of these and I'll have an unboxing for this one. And I am currently using this one. So I'll just show you some of the stuff that's left in the box. And I'll show you the other things when they're in the computer. And I'll have a video, uh, a couple clips later on about how to actually use the software for this one here. All right, guys, let's jump right into this and let's get started. All right, guys, let's jump into the unboxing of both of the devices. I won't be unboxing the Hue Plus because it is already in my system, but I'll open it up and show you like what you would get in the box and just explain to you what comes in each one of the different boxes that comes in there. So we're going to unbox this one first. This is the cheaper option. It is a few years older. It came out around three years ago or something like that. Uh, this is the NZXT Hue Plus RGB LED controller, and this is a five and a quarter inch bay, a single five and a quarter inch bay mountable device. So it does come on the back here, as you can see, it comes with uh, a two meter uh, cable. My camera would focus, maybe not. Okay, it comes, anyway, it comes with a two meter cable, 24 RGB LEDs on it. it there are dial controls, there's five brightness levels, five different modes, you have normal, fading, flashing, color flashing, and, uh, or color fading and color flashing. It is SATA powered, it's steel mesh construction and plastic, and it is all black, and it goes in a five and a quarter inch bay. Um, there we go. All right, let's jump into the unboxing for it here. So it does come with the two meter cable, the 25 cables on it, and it is a straight cable, so the whole thing is just straight, and it does have adhesive on the back here um, for uh, installation. But I would recommend, if you're going to buy this kit, I would recommend getting some Velcro uh, you can find Velcro at your hardware stores. Go to Home Depot, Ace Hardware, depending on where you live at, and you can get some Velcro to be able to um, actually get the stuff to stay where you want it to stay at because I had a problem originally where it wouldn't stay adhesive on the side of my case, and I used Velcro and did like little strips on it to actually get it adhesive, and it worked out perfectly. So the other things that you get in the box here is the actual device itself. So this is the whole thing. This mounts into the 5 and a quarter inch bay. That's all sides, and this is the front with your red, green, blue dials on it, as you can see there. And like I said, this is the uh, power connector for the LEDs, and it is powered via SATA cable. Okay, And they do have decently lengthy cables to actually be able to route it where you want to route it and start the line where you want to start it. And you just turn these dials and stuff like that, and it will change the actual brightness level of the LED corresponding with the color on the knob. And then for the mode, you just click this one in uh, five different times to change between the modes. You can hold the green one for a couple seconds, and it will turn it all the way off. And then this one over here adjusts the brightness level. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, NZXT Hue Plus PC Advanced Illumination Kit. And again, I don't have everything in the box. I actually already did an unboxing video. I'll have a link for that in the description down below if you guys want to take a look at that. But I'm just going to open up the box here and just show you guys... Uh, how everything would come if it was a brand new device and what you can expect. It is a pretty premium experience. So you have two boxes like this and then you just take them apart. And the Hue Plus device does come right there. And then when you open this up, you will find your LED uh, strips in here. And on this one, I think I still have some of it. This is where you find your instruction manual as well as some zip ties to cable manage. Uh, all the screws that you need to actually install it into a two and a half inch SSD mount. 
and it comes with some other cables here that I'm not using. So this is a, a 30 centimeter extension cable to extend one LED strip from another one, which I'm not using. And this is also another, uh, I think it's 60 me uh, centimeters uh, extension cable to plug into the back of the Hue Plus and to power different strips on two different channels. You can actually have two different channels with this kit. And, it does, and these are all just the little plugs that go on the end of the device to protect the prongs and stuff like that. And uh, the other things that come in here are the power cable, so the AC power 5 volt cable that plug into a Molex, as well as the USB 2.0 uh, header that goes onto your motherboard and stuff like that. And here is the instruction manuals, which I recommend just taking a look at, just get familiar with them, what kind of stuff you come in there, make sure you have all your stuff in there. Okay, so here we go now. Now we're gonna actually take a look at the software and the lighting effects in the computer simultaneously. So one of my favorite lighting features is the white LED lighting. And I do like to create a little bit more of a warmer white than just a really bright, hot white that's just out, you know, being all flamboyant and stuff like that. So this, I set all of the RGB hues to 125 on the uh, number here. And it allows it to be a nice little just like white LED light that's not too intrusive. So if I turned it up all the way to here, you can tell that is much brighter. That's much brighter. And then some of the other things I have to do is the same with like the red here. So the red is now um, at 125 as well instead of this red at 255. Which still, the red does look really nice as well. Red light is not really the best light for actually lighting up components and stuff like that. It's more just like a glow around it. Uh, so these are just some of the features I like to use here. And then the default one comes as blue, which blue is very bright. Like, I would turn this way down. I would probably, like, turn it down to, like, maybe here. Yeah, see, that's much better. But, like, moving on here, we have some different effects here. So we're going to go into my custom one that I just set up. I am from uh, Colorado, so I do uh, root for the Broncos here. So I did created a nice little blue and orange theme. So I think it looks really cool. And you can actually change the, f the speed of it. So I'm going to put it on fastest. Show you guys that. It goes really fast now. And then we can honestly slow that down to really slow. And then it like you can actually see it breathing up and then breathing back down into the next one. The next color I wanted to show you, I mean the next mode I wanted to show you guys here in the preset selection is uh, part of the fading. So this here is like the default one. So this is RGB, red, green, blue. And I did set this to fast, so it actually fades into every color, and it hits every color in between in the whole spectrum of the 18 point, or 16.8 million colors. So it actually hits every color. You'll see a satin here, and then it goes into purple, and then red, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then that's just, that's just a couple of other ones here. Uh, this one is one of my favorite ones, because it does have, let me turn this up, uh, speed here, make it a little faster. So it does go from... Uh, red to pinkish to then white and then white it goes into like a sort of interesting blend of colors and then turns like almost literally blue right after and then it'll start over and it blends into the next color instead of being like the breathing where it actually stops the color and goes in the next one it's pretty cool and then let's see if I have another custom one here nope okay so Marquee is pretty cool too so this is just the Marquee Comet so this is the Marquee just going around as a comet and it's like the lights after the main light that's actually going around are dimmer than the other one. So let me click, cl turn up the intervals here. This is five lights going around. So as you can see, the actual LED is brighter at the beginning and then darker at the end. So let me make it, let me make it go the other direction here. Let me see here. Let's see if we can look at a different one. This is a cool one here. So this is just a white light going around. And then here is one of my favorites, the red light going around. And I turned it, it's going the other direction, and this is 10 of them. So it's just lighting up different areas at a time. That's pretty cool. That's on, I can do it even slower than that. So you can actually see it. And then as fast as possible is pretty cool too. That's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> and, I, and like I said, you can change it to Comet. So this is just all the lights lit up at the same time. Now Comet actually has the lights... Only the front light is the, the brightest and then all the other ones dim off from that when you click that little comet box. So covering Marquee here, uh, I have a couple custom ones here. So this is um, where it lights up all one color and then it covers it with the next color. So this is white and red, which is pretty cool. Let me do some other color variations here. So we can do like a yellow and combine that with a purple. Let's see which purple we want to use, purple here. So this is kind of interesting. 
I mean, that's not that's not even really yellow. That's more of a. It's more. Well, I guess it is yellow. Yeah, it looks pretty yellow. Let me see if I can get a little darker one or a lighter one here. Here we go. So that's pretty crazy. They could go a little bit faster. See, that's that's kind of that's kind of nice and warm. And I have another one here, uh, red and green. This is what I did for my Christmas uh, theme here. Let me turn it up a little bit for you. Turn, uh, I did red and green for Christmas, which was pretty cool. And then on to the next one here. We are, we're on Pulse. I actually don't even have any here for this one. I'm just going to do the regular red. And you can see it like beating like a heartbeat. Like you can like make it go faster. Here we go. So that's like freaking out. Make it go white. Oh, that's like a strobe light. <laughs> And then, of course, you have your Spectrum Wave, which is pretty cool. Um, when I show you guys the keyboard, the second installation of this LED lighting video, um, I'm going to show you guys the Spectrum Wave on the keyboard from the Corsair keyboards, and it looks pretty sweet. You can almost match it up perfectly, so it'll be the same exact as this one here. So nothing really to change on this one. You can just change how fast the LEDs go um, and the direction, so I can make it go the other way. Make it go faster. So that's pretty cool. And then alternating is one of my favorite modes as well. There's a couple of different things you can do to this here. So red and blue is a really cool one. And you see how it, it looks like a, like a slot machine, but they're not actually moving around. So this is like a slot machine right here. But like now watch when I click this when I click this moving button, they're actually moving around now. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And the cool thing is you can create gaps in there. You can actually like I could put uh, I can make this black. So now it's like a gap in between there. And now you can honestly make the lights a little bit more. So I could do like a five. That actually looks like they're really moving, which is pretty cool. Put it back. There you go. Make it go faster. Make it go really fast. Get like a bunch of ching, ching, ching back in the background. You know, slot machines going off. And this is pretty cool. As I noticed, they do have a firmware. They did firmware update. And they added candlelight. So if you can see it, it's like a slight tint. They are flickering a little bit, which is pretty cool. And you can set some other ones, so like smart by GPU temperatures and stuff like that. So my GPU temperature, I can go over to the dashboard here. And you see that it's uh, CPU temperature is at 35 degrees Celsius, which is like nothing. So it's keeping it on all the way blue. Oh, no, that's the GPU, sorry. Uh, this one's on the GPUs right now, but th yeah, this is at this, but that's not even at 40 yet, so that's why it's not hitting the next color yet. And then you can do the FPS as well. I'm not, I'm not in the middle of a game right now, so it's not going to display them over here, but if it was in the game, it'd be pretty cool. And you can actually create your own here as well, so you can create your own breathing effects, stuff like that. Uh, change the intervals and stuff. And this is the audio, so I'm going to put it on this one here. And you can see that there's no audio playing through the device right now, so I'm going to pop up one of my YouTube videos. Comes to time, time to actually... Day. Like there do you uh, streaming with now you see that playing in the background. It's the actually lighting up the lights. Headphones in the first place. According to the actual volume in the video, that involve this is my uh, recently uploaded and stuff like that. Uh, Jaybird X2 that wireless headphone unboxing and quick review video that I did a little bit ago. It's pretty cool. Enter um, Jaybird. So let me turn that off. X2. But yeah, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit of a follow up here, and uh, thank you guys very much for watching. It's pretty cool how I do have the uh, EVGA bridge there i do have white ambient light around my cpu block as well thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check the video descriptions down below for the links to these pieces here